Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel from Evelyn and Peter and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this cute little miniature stocking and this stocking is part of my woodland Christmas garland that I have available free on my blog. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that and you can add these on to your garland if you're following along with that or you can just make them separately. So you're going to need some worsted weight yarn and you need it in two different colors and then you're also going to need a four millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle to weave in your ends and then I also recommend a stitch marker. So we're going to be starting at the bottom of the stocking and you're going to begin by creating a slip knot. So just wrap the yarn around your fingers and then go ahead and pull through and put it on the hook. And you'll want to use the color that you want for the main body of the stocking. And then you're just going to chain two. So we have two chains right here and then we're going to be working our stitches into that very first chain made. So the chain that's furthest away from you, you can insert your hook into that and then yarn over, pull up a loop and yarn over, pull through one loop. So we have one single crochet. And then you're just going to repeat that five more times for a total of six single crochet stitches. So you wanna put your hook into the same spot each time. So we're going to be putting it into that same chain and then just insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And you wanna do that a total of six times for six single crochet to finish off round one. So once we have those six single crochet, you're gonna go ahead and add a stitch marker so that we can keep our place and know when the, row, the rounds end. So go ahead and just add that onto the loop on your hook. And we're gonna go directly into the next stitch and working in continuous rounds. So in that very next stitch, you're gonna insert your hook and work two single crochet stitches into it. So work one and then in that very same spot work a second one so that is one increase and we're going to do this all the way around so in that following stitch work one single crochet and then work a second one into the very same spot and then again in the third one work a work your first single crochet and then in that same spot work a second and just do this all the way around until you reach that stitch marker So once you've worked your way around and you're back to the stitch marker, you should have a total of 12 single crochet stitches. And now we're just gonna go ahead and move that stitch, stitch marker up so we can start round three. So for round three, all you're going to be doing is working one single crochet stitch into each stitch all the way around for a total of 12 single crochet. So you're no longer increasing for this round, you're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch all the way until you reach the stitch marker. So once you've reached the stitch marker, go ahead and move it up. And then for round four, we're just gonna repeat exactly what we did. So just work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12. Then when you reach the stitch marker, go ahead and move it up again. And for round five, we're going to be doing the same thing. Just work one single crochet stitch all the way around. And then once again, when you get to the stitch marker, go ahead and move it up. And we're going to be doing that same thing one more time for round six. So we'll be working one single crochet stitch all the way around to finish round six with a total of 12 single crochet. So now we're going to be working heel row one of the stocking. So we're not going to be working um, towards the stitch marker. Now you need to chain one and turn your work. So we're gonna be turning for the next couple of rows. And for the heel, it's really simple. After you turn your work and chain one, you're going to work one single crochet into that very first stitch, work a second single crochet in the following, a third single crochet in the next, and then a fourth single crochet. So that is row one of the heel. And then just chain one and turn your work. And now you'll be working heel row two. And for this one, just work one single crochet back across those four that you just made. So you have four single crochet one way, chain one turn, work four back, and that completes heel row two. 
So after we have the little heel flap made, we're just gonna continue in rounds like we had previously. So you can go ahead and move up that stitch marker to the current loop that's on your hook. And we are going to be working in continuous rounds now. We won't be chaining or turning. So we're just gonna keep doing what we had before. So we're gonna start with round seven and you're going to work your hook into that stitch that we just um, took the stitch marker out of. So you'll be skipping over that edge of the heel that you made and just go directly into that first stitch, just like that. And it'll kind of fold the heel up a little bit. And then you're just going to continue working one single crochet in all of the following stitches. And once you've worked your way to that other side of the heel, again, you can just skip up the edge of it and work your next single crochet into that corner single crochet of the heel. And then continue with one single crochet in the last three stitches. So you should have a total of 12 single crochet again. And then once you get to the end, you can just go ahead and move up that stitch marker you're gonna do this for five more rounds. So go ahead, move up the stitch marker, work round eight by working one single crochet in each stitch around, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So a total of 12 rounds, so do this five more times and just move the stitch marker up as you go and do this for five more rounds and I'll meet you back here at our color change. So now we're gonna be bringing in our second color. I'm just using white for mine. So you can go ahead and remove your stitch marker. And then in that last single crochet that we made in round 12, just pull out that last loop. And instead of yarning over with the red, we're going to um, put the white color on our hook and pull it through to finish off our stitch with our new color. So now the White yarn is our working yarn and you can just go ahead and drop the red, give the tails a little bit of a tug so that everything is nice and secure. And then you can also just cut your red yarn as well because we won't be using it anymore. So just cut a little tail and I'm just gonna tuck it into my stocking to get it out of the way. And now we're going to be working our rounds with the white. So you can add your stitch marker at this point if you want to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and start working around because that white loop will show us where our round um, starts and ends. So for this round, you're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch all the way around until you reach back to that first um, white single crochet. So that completes round 13 and you should still have 12 single crochet. You can go ahead and add your stitch marker now if you still need to use it. And the rest of the stocking is really easy. We're just gonna do three more rounds that we have been doing. So just work one single crochet in each stitch around for rounds 14, 15, and 16. So do this three more times and then I will show you guys how to tie off and finish the stocking. So once you've worked those last few rows, you can go ahead and just remove your stitch marker and you can finish off by inserting your hook into the next stitch and yarn over, pull through and pull through the loop on your hook, slip stitching to join. And then you can just go ahead and cut your yarn and make sure you pull it all the way through. And then all you have left to do is weave in your end and fold the top of the stocking over. You can also um, add a little loop or something like that to the top of the stocking if you plan on using it as ornaments. But for mine, I'm gonna be using it as part of my garland tutorial that I have on my blog. So I'm just gonna go ahead and weave in that last tail and I'm just going to be um, threading my little stockings onto my garland for my project. So there's just a couple different ways you can finish it off depending on what you're gonna use this for. So you can just use your yarn needle, weave in that end, and then cut off any extra yarn. And that is it for this design. Make sure you check out the written pattern that's available on my blog and the full tutorial for the garland as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to check out the pine tree tutorial and the little mushroom tutorial if you are interested in making that garland.